Hi, my name is Bob Tabor with LearnVisualStudio.net. This series of videos should provide an introduction to the fundamentals of the c -sharp programming language and programming in general. Now, if you're already an experienced developer coming from another programming language or development environment, then frankly, this might move a bit slowly in some parts, so there might be some better resources available for you to use as a starting point. But if you're completely new to programming and you're new to C Sharp, then this is a great place to start. We're gonna walk through every single action and every line of code that we're gonna to write together. And I'll even try to anticipate the problems that you might run into while you're working through these exercises and through these videos based on my interaction with absolute beginners over the past 10 years of helping people learn C Sharp and .NET through videos just like these. So the videos that I'm working on are recorded using Visual C Sharp 2010 Express Edition, which is a free edition of Visual Studio that's available for download from Microsoft.com. And this is important. Since we're merely covering the basics of the C Sharp programming language, the things that I'm covering in this series of videos will apply to all versions and all editions of Visual Studio. This includes 2008, 2010, and anything that comes after it, okay? It also means that you can use the Express Editions or any version of Visual Studio that you have available. In other words, and I can't more emphatically state that as long as they're C Sharp to learn, these videos will still be valid. All right. When new versions of Visual Studio become available, typically the features that are added uh, rarely affect the features that are relevant to learning uh, the absolute basics and the fundamentals of C Sharp in particular. So you can watch and follow these videos 10 years from now and uh, they should still be valid. So the next video is going to assume that you already have either Visual C Sharp Express Edition or Visual Studio installed. So if you don't, please take a few moments to download and install it on your computer. Now the best way to do this is to go to your favorite search engine like bing.com and search for Visual C Sharp Express Edition. And uh, you'll want to search for it because the URL can change from time to time. Now to get the most out of this video lesson series, you should be an active learner, meaning that you should attempt to follow along and do exactly what I do. Write the code that I write. I call this getting your hands dirty in the code. There is no better way to learn than following along and writing the code yourself. Pause the video. Rewind the video. Uh, now while I make the code available for download, you're welcome to reference it, but you really should try to type it into your copy of Visual Studio or Visual C Sharp Express Edition uh, yourself. Furthermore, I'd encourage you to not be in a rush to complete this course. If something doesn't make sense, take the time, pause, rewind if you have to, uh, or find other resources on msdn.microsoft.com or Channel 9 or even my personal website, www.learnvisualstudio.net, that could help make that concept a little bit clearer in your mind before you move on. So like I said earlier, if you're new to programming, I'm really excited for you. You're embarking on an exciting journey that's immersive and rewarding. Uh, if you ever have any questions about this series or if I can help in any way, please feel free to post where you see this video or write me personally at Bob at learnvisualstudio.net. All right, so in the next lesson, we're gonna create our first program. It's a simple program, but we're gonna build on it and build on it until we get the fundamentals under our belts. I hope you're excited because I am, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.